Day 92. Seek out people who will stand by you and love you for who you are and truly do as Christ calls them to do, which is to be there for you. Eric Clayton, Savior Machine. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you already are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep His promise. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. Hebrews 10, 23 through 25. You know, every time I do a podcast about discovering your passions in life, I get a lot of mail. How can I discover my passions? I have passions, but no one believes in me. I'm losing faith in myself as well. These are typical comments. And as I ask about their lives and their circumstances, I find that most of them don't belong to a Christian fellowship of any kind. And why is that important? Simple. You were not designed to do this alone. The things you do well are not always obvious to you. And when they are, you rarely have anyone who will encourage you to move forward. The main purpose for the church, the body of Christ, Christians meeting together, is to encourage each other and build each other up. And when you're not part of a church like this, you'll find yourself seriously lacking in this area. All of us need people to believe in us. We need insight and encouragement when we doubt our calling or when the road ahead becomes difficult. Having people walk beside us as we live out our calling and our passions makes all the difference. Think about it. Do you have people around you who encourage you in pursuing your passions? Visit sanctuaryinternational.com forward slash merch to order coffee, mugs, and your copy of Metal Devo. We are metal. We are family. <laughs>